Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another Dr. Cassette presentation. Well, slowly but surely, I'm getting my hands onto some test equipment. As you can see right here, I have a field strength meter. This is the model APM520H, made by a company called Koenig. Uh, says right up there. Logo is kind of scratched up, so you can't really read it. As you can see, it is a nice, handy little unit. Seems to be very, very portable. It does have this carrying case with a shoulder strap and everything. Well, fact is, it's not really portable. First of all, this thing is just extremely heavy, so uh, you definitely don't want to carry that on your shoulder for all too long. And, second thing is, it requires a uh, AC outlet. A grounded one as well. As you can see, it's using these big uh, computer style power plugs so uh, <laughs> you can't really take this with you like on top onto a rooftop to uh, test an antenna while you're setting it up because uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's just not very comfortable having this uh, heavy thing hanging on your shoulder and uh, a uh, an AC cord hanging out of the side of it but there it is it is a very basic unit, uh, at least from what I can tell. It doesn't seem to have too many fancy things going on. I found this at the dump, and the uh, reason why this was thrown away, so far I haven't found anything that was wrong with this. The reason why it was thrown away is this is a field strength meter for both TV and FM radio. Problem being, it's for analog TV, and we no longer have analog TV here in Germany. Um, actually, analog TV or analog compatible TV is still coming out of the cable cable network, but we don't have any analog on-air television anymore. So, uh, three out of the four things this uh, can do are completely useless. It can do FM radio, can do VHF low, VHF high, and UHF, and these three things are not working anymore. Let's go through the features and functions. We do have a headphone jack right here, but uh, we also have a built-in speaker. There is a little stereo LED right there. And uh, here we have the important thing, the field strength meter. And uh, it does have a little adjustment screw behind it there. And there it is. Decibels microvolts, I think that uh, is, that reads. We have a tuning knob and a volume slash on off uh, knob. Here is the power switch. Uh, the power switch turns the unit on, and the volume and on and off thingy turns the built in speaker or the headphones on and off, and of course, adjusts the volume. Have a switch for either AM or FM demodulation. We have a digital frequency display, a liquid crystal display. Right here we have our standard BNC jack, uh, 75 ohms of uh, resistance going on there. And uh, here we have for really good antennas, we have a RF attenuator for uh, either 0 decibels off or 60 decibels. We have an IF attenuator. Um, I don't know if that's for even stronger signals or if that's for doing something else, but um, anyway, let's uh, go ahead and get this thing turned on. As you can see, we're going to use this uh, well and truly ridiculous little antenna, just a little, uh, just a little uh, clip-on wire and uh, an, an old BNC plug. Now there we go. Let's turn this on. There it is. We also have an, an automatic frequency control circuit, which uh, you should deactivate. Now that switch is kind of messed up. Uh, okay, that's off. And um, of course, if you want to tune in a station, you have to turn that off, because otherwise it's going to be all kind of inaccurate. Now there we have uh, 
a meter, which is already registering something. And uh, there we have our frequency display. And uh, let me quickly change my position here. If I uh, do the tuning, this is the frequency of a radio station here in northern Germany. And there goes the radio, there goes the internal speaker. As you can see, we're not having a perfect stereo reception. That stereo LED is definitely quick with uh, re registering if there is a stereo signal or not. You can see it's flashing quite happily. If I move this antenna around, this tiny little wire thingy, you can uh, see how the meter is moving. If I put it into a horizontal position, it's uh, going low because the uh, FM stations are having a, uh, I think, a vertical polarization. Because if I move it vertically, you see it's going up. And uh, it's going up even further if I just uh, let it drop down onto the floor, which is kind of weird. But uh, let's uh, see what we can do here. There goes the auto frequency control, which is not doing much. Now, um, let's see. That's the attenuator, of course, with uh, minus 60 dB. So you can see in that position, this little wire is not uh, really not uh, strong enough to receive anything. And uh, see, with the auto level, auto frequency control turned on, it's going all weird when it's losing the station. So you want to turn that off when you're tuning in a signal. And we have the IF attenuator. And here we have. Uh, well, it's not really bad reception. Of course, that's just attenuating an, an internal signal, not the actual antenna. And uh, this is cool. Uh, do you... See. Now, do you want to know what FM radio sounds if uh, demodulated uh, as if it was an AM signal? Well, here we go. As you can hear, it actually does still work. It's kind of quiet and kind of distorted, but uh, it definitely does work. Well, I guess that's it. Turn it off. There it goes. Now, I also got some paperwork with this. First of all, I got this little, um, this little table with uh, cable TV channels. That's a little table here with uh, frequencies and the channels. And uh, here we have... Uh, Astro communication systems, frequencies and uh, levels. I don't really know what this is for. Uh, okay, that's okay. That's uh, that's just uh, what kind of uh, output level. Uh, just the the most regular system should uh, are supposed to give you, like uh, your typical. Uh, plug inside of your wall for you know antenna outlet and uh, now here we have a uh, diagram and this is actually coming from Koenig uh, the company who produced this and uh, this is uh, giving you a reading of uh, how this thing performed on their test bench so this has actually been factory tested 
these are the values. I'm not exactly sure what this all means. Field strength meter correction chart. And there it is. That all came inside of that uh, black case. So anyway, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this video about the field strength meter, model APM 520H by Koenig. Now this was probably made in like the 80s or early 90s or something around there.